Uh, uh, what? Excuse me. A moment of your time. Come now. Pah. The truth is... to reason. What is the logical course of action? Let's try this. Let's try this. What is the logical course of action? Let's try this. <laughs> Let's try this.
the logical course of action. Oh, flames! Rain! Rock! Try this. What is the logical course of action? Oh, ice! Here's some food! Let's try this. Now, what next? Ah. Oh, ice! Here's some fruit! Now, what next? Ah. Oh, ice! Here's some fruit! What next? Oh, ice! Here's some fruit! Not bad. A passing. <laughs> Just so. Say it is not so. Thank you. Indeed. Also miss.
I've brought Professor Albright, as asked, sir. Good. Enter. Thank you, Lucia. Yes, Headmaster. What can I do for you? <clears throat> Something tells me he's not about to offer a commendation. Professor Albright, a most uh, troubling... A report, sir. An anonymous source claims that you have abused your prestigious position to enter into an illicit relationship with Her Highness the Princess. Oh. And you believe this report, sir? If it is untrue, then... Why, it is unfounded, unsubstantiated, balderdash of the highest order! I would like to take your words at face value, Professor, but I fear the situation is not so simple. A rumor regarding the royal family, even an unsubstantiated one such as this, is... If we do not take swift action, Princess Mary's good name could be forever sullied. That is something that simply cannot be allowed to happen. Surely. And so what do you intend to do with me? It is not an easy decision to make. Dismissing you outright would be tantamount to an admission of guilt. If I may be so bold, Headmaster, what about a sabbatical? Professor Albright has put on extended leave, while official accounts state that he's doing fieldwork in a distant land. What say you, Cyrus? This way, both the Academy's reputation and your own will remain. My! Do we have a problem, Professor? Not at all, Headmaster. On the contrary, this might prove the perfect opportunity. Opportunity? For what? As a matter of fact, there is a matter which has piqued my interest of late. I was just wondering when I might find the time to do a bit of research in the field. I think I will set forth on a journey. In search of an ancient tome that disappeared 15 years ago. Besides, if I am not permitted to share what I have learned with my peers and the public, there is little point in continuing my res- Is that so? Do tell, Professor. What is it? As regards a certain tome. Now, if you will forgive me, I must begin packing for my journey. Good day to you, Headmaster. An enigma as ever. Hmm. Professor! Oh, Therese. I... I heard the... Then you heard true. P professor I'm... I'm so sorry. I see. So you were the source of the rumor. You... you knew? Not until just this moment, when you apologized. And yet, I cannot fathom your motive. Why... You're always helping Her Highness, answering her every question. I just wanted you to pay more attention to me. And that's why you went to the headmaster? Y yes, but 
I... I just wanted to get you in a little trouble. I didn't think they would. I am so sorry, Professor. Can you ever forgive me? Worry not, my dear. It just so happens that I was looking for a good excuse to go on a journey. You were? For some time now, I've wanted to travel the realm and see what can be learned beyond these halls. I dare say the timing couldn't have been better. You see, there's a certain matter I simply can't wait to investigate. So fret not, my girl. If anything, you've done me a favor. Besides, I am not entirely without fault in the matter. Indeed, I have not been as attentive to you as I should. Had I realized your true intention sooner, I would not be in this... Professor, whatever do you... If only I had realized how devoted you were to your studies, my dear girl. My studies. I have always striven to treat all my students equally. And yet, Her Highness is always eager to ask questions, and I was all too eager to answer them. In doing so, I may have given the impression that I favored her above you and the others. This was not my intention, but I am at fault all the same. If only I had seen you for the ardent and devoted young scholar that you are! <sighs> um, per Perhaps you're not quite as sharp as I thought you were. Yes? In that case, I should be off. Pray do not shirk your studies, my girl. Yes, Professor. Well, what... I do not see why not, provided we both still live. Hello there.
Greetings to ye.